How we doing guys, McCann here and welcome to another FIFA 21 video. Uh, it's currently quarter past eight on Monday evening. I'm um, just going to load up our ultimate team and see exactly what we have. Um, I'm actually not really expecting anything too much to be honest. Um, obviously we've had quite a lot of content since really Thursday, Friday. New icons, uh, new player, league player SBCs, new milestones, quite a few good player SBCs as well. Um, obviously including the showdown last night so I'm not actually expecting too much in it guys um, but we'll have a wee look and see what is here so in terms of objectives Silver Star's still there I did complete Ruben Neves and Pastore today on stream which was absolutely brilliant so they two are out of my hair um, tomorrow on stream guys I will be completing the Eredivisie Squad Foundations you want to see that happening Facebook Gaming Amy McCann 10 you'll get me there I'll drop the link in the description below guys um, also, if you are enjoying the content, please, please, please drop a wee like in the video. Um, that would be very, very much appreciated. Um, if you can subscribe to the channel as well, that would be brilliant. So, thank you very much for that in advance. Um, so, in terms of the night, guys, as I said, still got the Silver Stars to complete. I'm going to actually just go and complete him while we're watching television um, after uh, this video. Um, we have the Mega Matchup. So, for a rare mega pack, which is actually not too bad, play seven squad battles matches or rivals, fair enough. Score eight goals using midfielders in squad battles or rivals. Assist ten goals in squad battles or rivals. And then win four squad battles or rivals. Relatively easy, whatever whatever game mode your whatever game mode your preference. I probably will complete this in rivals. Um as you might be aware, or you may be aware if you tune into the streams, I didn't actually play any weekend league at the weekend there. Um, reason for that is because I was genuinely just too busy and uh, um, just wanted some chill time to be honest so I didn't actually play um, any um, foot jumps so we're not actually going to be getting any rewards other than rivals rewards so I'm going to just use um, the time basically throughout this week to get some rivals games in hopefully we will be able to get so let's just check milestones so we've actually not got any milestones so if I can actually get this Rivals mystery, 50 Rivals wins, I'll get another 100k pack for hopefully a new promo on Friday, guys. So that is the that is the um, the kind of plan to try and get 10 Rivals wins. And in that meantime, we will be completing, obviously, this mega matchup objective, which will give us another rare mega pack for, hopefully, as I said, a new promo on Friday, guys. So, obviously, week 4 and week 5 is still there, and then squad battle. So, no, actually, anything other than the mega matchup. Just double check objectives, guys. As I said, we will be completing the area divisions tomorrow. Um, no, actually, anything new there either, guys. So, SBCs. Hopefully, we have something new in SBCs. There's plenty of SBCs to be doing the new guys. It's, it's absolutely crazy. Um, so, Thomas Lamar's still there. I'm not going to complete Thomas Lamar. I think that there's too many. Sergio Busquets, he has a new card, which is absolutely brilliant to see. Um, I just think there's too many players kind of like him, obviously my video was dropped last night, or sun, say Saturday night, I think it was actually last night, I can't actually remember guys, um, my video was dropped, basically when the showdown SBCs came out, I have completed Rudiger, I think Rudiger, Rudiger will be a good card, I think it's the upgrade, um, so we took, a, we took a gamble on him, Thomas Lamar, there's just too many um, players like him, Cavani's still there, in my opinion, a wee bit too expensive for what you're actually getting, am I going to complete it or no, I just don't really see what I'm going to gain for it. I know it's an 83, an 84 and an 86, but with an 84 and an 86, I can complete Puyo and have a prime moments rather than the flashback. Although this this card looks very, very nice in terms of dynamic image and stuff and it's kind of appealing. But the 3-star, 4-star and the low agility balance just doesn't really do it for me, guys. So, that brings us on to tonight's content as Sergio Busquets is sitting in here. Earn a player moment, Sergio Busquets celebrating his debut goal for Barcelona in the UEFA Champions League 809. Um very, very interesting. His face card, it looks as if he's definitely had a massive, massive pace upgrade. Um, I'll just be interested to see how good his agility balance and stuff is. Obviously, I think he is six foot two, somewhere along the lines. Obviously, he is high and average kind of build, so I'll be interested to see what his, um, his in games are, which we will look at, obviously, as I said, on Footbin. We'll have a look at him on Footbin. Um, just loading him up there. The 82 88 upgrade is still there. The silver and the bronze upgrade is absolutely banging. These were released last night along with the prime icon upgrade, guys. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to complete this prime icon upgrade, but it is coming in at an 83, an 84, an 85, and an 86. So for the 86 and the 84, 
two segments of Cavani, you're actually getting two segments of a prime icon uh, completed, and I know what one I would rather he, to be honest, I'd rather have the gamble at the prime icon. Tony Cruz is expiring in 21 hours. This is an SBC I would have loved to have completed. I just felt like it was a wee bit too expensive. But when it's sitting there, and when he's actually just ticking away and running out of time, I feel like I do want to go and complete him. Um, but we'll wait and see in the next 20 more hours. Obviously, Joe Hart's still there as well. Sierra keep racism out kit set, which is actually it's actually quite a nice kit and for an absolute brilliant cause, to be fair. Um, minimum bronze, 30 chem, so Sierra, Italian silver, and uh, minimum bronze for 30 chem. And then, obviously, minimum three nationalities, a silver player, a minimum bronze, and then... 30 chemistry for the, the badge, the TIFO and the stadium theme. I, I like this, I like this a lot. I actually think it's probably something that I'm going to go and complete, guys, and maybe run these trips for a while because it's, it's an important message throughout, throughout, the, um, throughout the world, the new guys. I think that's absolutely, absolutely bang on. So I might actually just complete them. Um, and then obviously you've got your mid or prime icon, which is repeatable, guys. The prime icon um, is not repeatable. Just be aware of that. So... Takes us on to Busquets, guys. I'll fire us up in um, football and we'll have a wee look at him. So, he is coming in at 160k, which to me seems... Hmm. Let me just have a wee quick scroll. A wee bit much, to be fair. Um, so, as I said, he has a massive, massive, massive base upgrade of 38. Six shooting, a three passing, five dribbling, four defending, and six physical guys. So, he has had a definite... A huge upgrade. Let me just check what he is coming in at in price. It is an 85 rated squad with a Barcelona player, 70 chemistry, um, which is interesting. I feel like looking at this card, he's had a massive pace upgrade, which is good to see. So he's definitely going to need an additional uh, pace upgrade in terms of like a shot. Probably is going to be a shadow, it's going to be best suited for him. His agility balance has had a huge upgrade as well 30 balance, 16 agility, acceleration 36, and sprint speed 40. And then across the board, it's kind of like fours, fives, sixes in physical area there. Like sixes across the physicals with a five for the jumping. I mean, he's definitely going to need a shadow, 100%. Makes him a 92 CDM, which is actually quite good. Three star, three star, high medium work rates, which is great. Um, and then high and average, as I said. Team player, which is the only trait he has. Um, an engine make him any? An engine obviously catches the agility balance. But it's, it's the pace. He needs a shadow. For a 92 CDM, uh, he is definitely a good card. Nice short passing, nice long passing, nice vision. Positioning is insanely high for having a shooting overall start of 70. With, it, with obviously the shadow chem style, his pace is now very, very good. Dribbling is generally no too bad for him. Composure is really, really good. Ball control is really good. Reactions is good. Balance is a wee bit low and so is agility. But he's had already had a huge, huge upgrade. And balance, so you can't really argue too much about that. And physicals are good, no too great. Um, obviously quite low in strength. Stamina and aggression are quite nice though. Um, is he worth the 160k? Um, probably, or the 175k if you're on PlayStation. Probably no, guys. Um, an 85 rated squad is a bit much, but he's Spanish, he's in the La Liga, and he definitely is a very, very good player. Um, a very very good card to be to be to be precise. Am I going to complete them? Mm, it just depends if I've actually got the fodder or no, guys. Um, I'm not too sure. As I said, it is an 85 rated squad, and I just feel like the way I'm kind of looking at SPCs, and I don't have much fodder. The reason for that is because I have completed Cliver, I've completed five out of seven in Nedved, I've completed two out of seven in Puyol, and that is kind of where all my attention is focused on, guys. It just seems to be focused completely on the icons. It is really the only SBCs that I've been dropping recently that kind of improved my club or kind of improved improve my actual foot champs team. For example, Nedved would be straight into my foot champs team. Like for example, look at the cards I've got in front of me here. Thomas Lamar wouldn't go into my team. Cavani wouldn't get into my team. Busquets wouldn't get into my team. Tony Cruz wouldn't get into my team. And these are all the player SBCs that are live. Whereas you look at the icon section, and for a start, they are... Prime moment icon. So you look at the Balak card. He would go into my team. Rui Costa would get into my team. Schmeichel would get into my team. Nedved is getting into my team once I complete him. Cliver is already in my team. And Puyol will definitely have a look in my team as well. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. The now, guys. I don't really... I've, as I said, I'm just kind of focusing all my attention on... 
the the icon SBC. So let me just double check if I've caught everything. So obviously the Sarah keep keep racism outset. I think that's absolutely brilliant. So I don't know why it's disliked so much. It's a bit poor. And Busquets is actually liked a lot. I mean Busquets is a good player. It is and it is definitely a nice card, guys. Um, I probably will complete it. Um, it expires on the twenty second, which is six days. It's a week. We have a week to complete them. Um, obviously we 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 mean no having rewards this week. It's maybe going to be difficult to get some fodder into my club. Um, obviously as I said at the start of the video, I have been quite busy with work and studying and stuff. So I've not really been grinding bronze pack method as much. So I've not got really much fodder in my club. But with the addition of the silver and the bronze upgrade packs, and then the eighty two eighty eight, um, I'm actually going to sit. Um, just after this video guys and sit in uh, my new grind and hopefully get some good fodder so it just depends if I get good fodder into my club um, well I'm depending on not, or whether or not I day boost gets guys but that is really all I've got to say about them a very very good card for sure um, 3 star 3 star um, high medium work rates um, which is good agility balance and pace has had a huge upgrade still a wee bit low but in comparison to his base card it's definitely a huge huge upgrade and the, the defending stats are brilliant the physical stats other than your really your strength are very very good and your passing is good in the key the right key areas guys so we are shadow he is a 92 cdm um a wee tiny bit too pricey in my opinion but while i complete them as i said just depends on what further i get guys but hey that is all the content for this evening guys as i said if you could had if you could hit the like button on the video it'd be very very much appreciated guys but that is all i've got to say tonight um, so until next time guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.